Hello folks, today I want to show you a faster, more efficient and overall better way for switching your applications instead of using Command tab or Alt tab if you are on Windows or Linux. Uh, what is the issue with Command tab? Well, if you use only one application, you don't have a problem, right? And my guess is if you use only one application that it is probably Emacs, right? <laughs> because it does everything. With Emacs, I, I, I guess you only need a kernel and you are all good to go. Uh, also, if you use only two applications, you don't have a problem, right? Because switching between two applications with Command Tab, it is, works like a charm, right? It is all good. But the problem starts when you introduce third application and more, right? And frankly, most of us use three, four, five plus applications for sure, right? So let's actually see the problem in, in action. So here, here I'm using, uh, my, let's say, my terminal, and I want to switch to my browser. So I need to do, okay, I'm inside the browser. Going back to terminal, all good, no problem. But now I, now I want to go to my notes application, so I need to do command tab and really, okay, here it is. Go to it, I don't know, switch to my terminal. Now I need Slack, where is Slack? Okay, here is like, okay, so I missed it. Now, now I need to do command shift, command shift tab to move back. Okay, here is it, here is the Slack. Go back to the terminal, I missed it, go back to it. So the problem for me here is uh, that this way of switching apps is, to say, to say the least, di distracting, right? Because I'm focused on the problem, I need to do, I need to switch to another application and basically I need to switch my focus to the switcher, locate the icon of the application, go to it, if I miss it, do command shift tab to go back, boom, and then open it. It's not efficient and it is slow, frankly, but let me show you a much, much better way. So here again, I'm inside my terminal and I want to go to Slack, boom, I'm inside Slack. I need to do, I need to go to my notes applica uh, application, boom, I'm inside notes. I need to go to my terminal, I'm inside terminal. To my browser, I'm inside browser. To my editor, editor. And back to my terminal. So if you see this, if, if, you, if, you, if you see this, uh, when I need application, I go straight to it. I don't need to switch anything, I don't need to basically shift my focus, just press uh, keyboard shortcut and I'm straight to that application, right? So this for me is much, much, much faster, much more efficient. And since I do it, do this, do this hundreds of times uh, on a daily basis, it is basically muscle memory, right? right? So I, when I, when I need to go to Slack, boom, I like, like automatically switch to, uh, switch to Slack or some other application that I need, right? So. And also, uh, the good thing about this, it is uh, really easy to set up, right? So we, we, um, you basically need only two things. So we need a shortcut. Uh, we need a shortcut that will not collide with any other shortcut in any, in any other uh, application, right? Uh, or, or, or with a system-wide shortcut. And we need, we need a, a, actually a way or a application that will allow, allow us to, to map that shortcut to a specific, uh, specific application. So uh, to, to, to have this shortcut, like universal sh shortcut, uh, we will use something called uh, a hyperkey, or we will configure something called, called hyperkey. A hyperkey is basically a key when you press it, it will trigger all of the modifiers, that is shift, Command, Option, and Alt, uh, and Control, sorry. And this basically allow us to map this shortcut, and we are certain that it will not co collide with anything, because there is no shortcut that will, that will force you to, to press all of these modifiers, right? So basically, if that is the case, that is more or less carpal tunnel in two days, probably, right? So let me show you this in action. So. Let me open uh, this Carabiner event, uh, event viewer, viewer application. 
this basically just just shows us what is being pressed. So if, if I press K, you can see K is pressed and then released, down and up. But if I press hyper key, check this out. Left command, left option, left shift, and left control are all triggered, right? And released, right? And this is this is basically what makes this a hyper key. And now we can use this shortcut to map to map to some other key on the keyboard that will basically do something. In our case, it will open open uh, open a application. So, for example, if I press hyper S, it will open the browser, right? So, if I do hyper okay hyper S, I will open the browser. Cool. Hyper D, I will open terminal. And how can we how can we uh, configure? Uh, hyper key, it is more or less straightforward. We need application called uh, Carabiner Elements. It is a macOS application. I'm pretty sure there is something similar on Windows or, or Linux. Uh, this application allows us to, 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 to map every key on the keyboard to every other key on the keyboard or, or a combination of keys. So for example, I, I have here some, uh, some simple modification where I mapped uh, caps lock key to left control. But there is also these complex modifications that allows us to do much more powerful things. In our case, this is this uh, hyper key. So basically I, f I, I mapped right command. When I hold it, it will actually activate a hyper key. And to do this, it is simply this JSON config and you are all good to go. Basically, this says that if you, if I press, if I just press uh, right command, it will trigger as right command. But if I hold it for 20 milliseconds, it will actually trigger all of these modifiers with what, which actually makes, th makes this a hyper key. Uh, by the way, I will link everything in the in the in the video description, so you can just select this JSON, paste it here, and you are all you are all good to go. Just click on this button, add a new rule, paste my config, config, and you will have the same thing as I have. Okay, so this is the first part. So this is the hyper key. Uh, the second part is that we need something that will actually allow us to map. A certain uh, a certain shortcut to open to open up uh, some application, right? So for that thing, on Mac uh, we can do it in two ways. So the first one is uh, uh, with 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 the help of application called uh, Key Keyboard Maestro. Yes, this application basically allows you allows you to among other things that it does uh, to 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 map to open some application with 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 a with a with a keyboard shortcut right and it is a paid application it, it is pretty pretty powerful it does it, it can do a lot of stuff but what i use is a, a simpler application uh, it is called skhd it is a open op, uh, it is open source application and it is basically a simple daemon that runs on macos and listens to a keyboard shortcut and, and does something. Does something that you define, right? First of all, you, you install it uh, with Homebrew. Just copy this, paste, uh, paste it in your terminal and you are all good, and then start it. And there is only a single file, config file, that you will, that you will actually configure your, your shortcuts or your mappings, your shortcut to, to some action. And I can show you my config. So, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. so skhdrc is the config file. It's default name. And this is the config. Uh, here you can see a bunch of things that I that I configured. But what we are interested in is this part. Here you can see that I mapped. In this case, I mapped hyper key plus w. It will open. It 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 will open Slack application. Hyper S um, Hyper S. It will open Arc, my browser. 
hyper D alacrity in my, my terminal, F is Visual Studio Code, R Obsidian, and E things. So here, here you can see that I mapped that I mapped uh, six my six most frequently uh, frequently used used applications. For that, for other applications like for example calendar, I will just open it with with uh, with Spotlight. So calendar and boom. I don't want to map everything, right? Because I only use use calendar from time from time to time. And and. That is more or less it, right? I will also link this file, uh, link, link this file in the in the video description, so you can just paste this uh, in your SKHD RC config file, and you will have the same setup that that I have. Uh, I also want to mention that you can you can you can achieve something similar with with a good window manager. So, for example, you can put each application uh, on a different space, right? And then with the keyboard shortcut, you can open you can open a particular a particular uh, space uh, or virtual desk, uh, desktop or something like that, right? On Linux, you have i3 window manager, tiling window man window manager. It is really really powerful, and you can have pretty much more or less similar thing like like this. Okay, guys. So this is more or less everything that I wanted to show you. Uh, thank you for for watching, and I really hope it was it was useful for you. Maybe try it out. Maybe leave a comment if you like it, or maybe don't. And if you like the video, uh, if you if you would like to give me a thumbs up, it would be much much appreciated. And maybe consider subs uh, subscribing. I will be posting uh, videos like this on a weekly basis. I hope we will talk. I don't know general productivity stuff like this. We'll talk about Golang, databases, distributed systems in general, and, and stuff like that. So once again, thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye bye.